can come here on a Sunday and sit here from 10 in the morning till 6 at night. I've done it before. Not one person come by and tell me hi. Guatemalans in this neighborhood that are homeless and they're chronic alcoholic. They'll be drinking those small bottles of vodka that are about six ounces for $2.50 on a regular basis. Uh, I've developed some friendships with about five of them and I'll buy them like, uh, you know, two pieces of chicken and some french fries and uh, an orange juice and then I'll give them a multiple vitamin with the B vitamins. I give it to them as much as I can because I, I can see they have like sores on their lips and skin, which is, I can tell that the sores are from uh, vitamin deficiency. Well, at least it's better than nothing. Um, and then I'll, after I give, sometimes I'll give them like two or three beers, maybe four beers maximum, and a seven or eight dollar plate of food, and then I'll give them five bucks. <laughs> Because I know if I give them 20 or $30, it's just going to all go on alcohol anyways. The reason why they cleaned up the park, there was a murderer. Who told him that he'd have to leave, and he didn't leave, and uh, they came one night and shot him in the back of the head. Right across from where I'm sitting, in front of the uh, Veterans Memorial statue, which is right behind me, shot him in the head, buying uh, crystal meth making, uh, 12 and 15 sales per hour and he wasn't in a gang he didn't leave and uh, they came one night and shot him in the back of the head about 1 a.m. in the morning he was in the hospital for about three days and then died it's a recent murder about a year ago but then when the person got murdered they cleaned up the park hoping for the country because I, I, I've read a lot about it and I go online a lot. You know, they'll end up having lots of jobs for everyone. They can end the malnutrition. They need to protect the Mayan Indians. They don't get equal opportunity in education and jobs. They said movie stars lived here in the hills. Famous people. I'm 61 now, I'm thinking, you know, I, I wish uh, I was like in my 20s, saved a lot of money, I, I would open a rehabilitation center around here. I'm going to tell you a dark secret, a lot of people don't know it. They're dying here in the Westlake District at an alarming rate. I'm going to say at least two Guatemalans per month die on the streets from alcoholism. It's an alarming rate if you look at it. You go by the liquor store and you see some candles, 